YouTube, it's your boy Gaddon, and we're back on gaming. Welcome to my GGC. Without any hesitation, let's get it. Gamers, what up? It's your boy Gaddon, and I'm back with another video. So, I've looked at a lot of footage on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, and all of my fears have been confirmed. This game is going to be bad. You're just the team mascot, aren't you, mate? The loser of the league, folks! And I hate saying it because I'm such a fan of the developers. I'm such a fan of Batman, Superman, the Suicide Squad, their characters. You know, I'm a comic book type of guy. I love these things, but you have to do them right. And so far from what I'm seeing, the gameplay is just totally off or just not right for this type of characters. I mean, the cutscenes just seem so more interesting than the gameplay itself. Now your friends are slaughtering the people they swore to protect. Batman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Superman. My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. And that's a travesty. But why is that? Why are the cutscenes so amazing, yet the gameplay is so blah? Well, you have four big personalities, and those big personalities come through in those cutscenes. I mean, honestly, I'd rather just look at the cutscenes than play this game because the gameplay is so blah. The personalities do not come through in the game. That shouldn't be. It should be kind of like the opposite. They took four strong characters and characters with big personalities and made them gun users. Yeah, all of them, they just shoot guns. Not much personality, not much difference in gameplay. They all shoot guns. It's a games as a service, low imagination looter shooter. Why would they do that? This is what happens when the suits call the shots instead of the people who are most passionate about game development the developers who make the game aren't allowed to do exactly what they want to do i know someone in that office is saying damn it if they would have just went with my idea this game would be so much better we played a great squad base comic book style video game already they literally gave them the blueprint it's just so much so much to take in and we have so many questions Guardians of the Galaxy was an amazing game. If you haven't played, you need to go play that game right away. I don't know what's holding you. That game was amazing. It had all the big personalities. The gameplay showed off all of the skills of each individual character and your team can actually fight together. From what I'm seeing in this gameplay, your whole squad is kind of like scattered about while you're flying through the city trying to impersonate Spider-Man, which is weird. In Guardians of the Galaxy, you play as the main protagonist, Peter Quill. Your other teammates, squad mates, you could call them in to do special moves. And it was deep. Each character had their own style of moves. If you wanted to break someone's armor, you would call in Drac. If you wanted to do a whole bunch of damage, you call in Gamora. If you wanted to let off some guns, you could shoot. Or if you wanted to immobilize your opponent, you would call in Rocket. Also, Groot will also do a whole bunch of damage. That game had purpose. And you could tell the developers of that game, the suits did not tell them exactly what to do. And they worked magic. And unfortunately, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, it just seems like it has zero synergy. I mean, really, if you take out the Guardians of the Galaxy, place in Suicide Squad with that type of gameplay, the game will be 50 times better than what we will be receiving on launch on February 2nd. I really don't want to make this a long video because the publishers really missed out on a golden opportunity. And it really seems like the publishers are doing what the DCU has done to their films. Not trying to make a deep and evolving experience, yet rather settling for a casual experience. Honestly, this game looks really shallow. All the environments look kind of stale, which is odd because the colors do pop. I really don't see much fun with this game. Maybe I'm wrong when it release, but mm, 
this game is really missing the mark. So in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Are you planning on buying this game? Don't take my word for it. If you are pre-ordered, go ahead and purchase it. Come back and let me know how the game is. Gamers, keep on gaming. That's all I got. So I'm out of here.